Hello, 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 viewers. Welcome to another episode of our farm activities. Okay, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Farm GH. We promise to give you more, more, more insightful farming videos, being it poultry, vegetables, no farming, whatever, whatever, as far as farming is concerned, we are going to give you more updates. Okay, so today is day 21, as we started with you from day 1, so now, so today is day 21, and you can see from the beds how they are faring now, uh, the white and the brown are looking very, very nice now, healthy as well, you can see all the feathers are up now. Alright, so today what we are going to take you through is about their growth and where they've got into and when we are moving them into the layer house. You can see from the video that uh, most of them can't penetrate or bring their heads out through the cages to feed. The main reason being that um, the rate which they are going is very, very fast now because they have flight 24-7. So they eat any time, any day, unlike the deep litter that they need to take time when the light goes off and stop eating and sleep. But this time they have the heat box and the light in the system so they are mostly eating anytime any day that's why the rate as they are growing is very fast and the rate which they are consuming the feed is very fast as well so these are some of the things that comes with battery cage system and battery cage building all right so you can see a lot of them can't penetrate their head in the cages as well so what we are going to do today is that um probably we are going to take the cages is done in two phases so we are going to take the first phase <laughs> the first cage from it as in uh, you can see there's a cover here that prevent them from entering when they came they were very tiny so they could use the cages to enter the the, 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 the penthouse so they're going to take this out so that they can have access and ha bring their head into the cages so they will be able to eat as you can see a lot of the water system as well is now below them because they are growing very fast so they can't use the nipple probably we need to put the nipple at the top of the cage so that they can spread and take their drink so for now we still have the drinkers in the cages that they are drinking from me. Alright, so yesterday, uh, this is our uh, third week now, you alright? So yesterday we were able to administer the Lasota vaccine to them. And today they are on vitamins as you can see in the drinkers that uh, the water is looking different from the normal water we know in the houses and in the poultry house as well. So it has a, a yellowish color which tells you that they are on vitamin now right after the um, the vaccine, they are on the vitamin, taking the vitamin so that they will regain their strength and any complication that the vaccines come, they will be able to adjust to that. And you can see they are eating very, very, very fast now. Trust me, they are eating very, very, very fast. And uh, it's, it's not surprising to you because I know when this uh, chicks have light, they are able to eat 24 hours. So that is what we are experiencing now. And uh, normally, they were supposed to take roughly like 10 weeks before we move them to the layer house. But at the rate which they are growing, it probably might be six or seven weeks that we might probably move them into the layer house. And we, as we promised, we are going to give you more and more insightful updates on their well-being, so their point of laying. Then we shift to any other uh, farming activity. So as we promised you, on this episode, uh, this is what the gist we have for you in the uh, uh, breeding house that we are taking you to. But please and please and please again, if you have any comments, any suggestion, we are open to critics, anything at all, just leave at the comment section below. We are going to respond to that and give you more and more insightful updates. And as well, if you want our contact or anything, you can check us out on, on social media handles, FarmGATV, being in uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, wherever we have our social media platform running. So you can contact us if you want any, 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 uh, any of what we are doing, you want to ask questions, you want to... Uh, do inquiries and what have you? We, we are going to take you through. Yes, and we are sponsored by uh, LNJ Farms. LNJ Farms located at the Wenya um, Pam Pam Junction. Yes, so uh, we are sponsored by them as well. And also, Mills Farm is in support. They, they import the old chicks and, and do vaccines as well and good as well. All right, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more, more, more updates so that we grow with you and we give you more, more, more insightful updates. See, the heat here is too much, but pr trust me, it's for the best and for them. As well, you can see, as it started raining, so they need more heat to just adjust to the weather condition. All right, so keep it like, subscribe, please. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in our next episode. Bye. Subscribe to Farm GH TV. Keep it up.